Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today, let me show you how to use the new Safari 14 Start Page. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 750 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. So Safari 14 is the new version of Apple's browser and it works not only in macOS Big Sur but also is an upgrade for Catalina and Mojave. You can check in Safari, About Safari, and see your version there. Now you can get to the Start Page many different ways. You can always go to Bookmarks and Show Start Page to get there. When you first upgrade you'll get this welcome message to tell you some of the new features in Safari including Customizable Start Page. I'm going to dismiss that so we just see the Start Page as we normally would. Now the Start Page replaces Top Sites which showed you some of your most frequently visited sites and allowed you to pin ones to that list so they stay there. Start Page basically has that and much more. You have different sections here. Favorites, Frequently Visited, Privacy Report, Siri Suggestions, Reading List, and iCloud Tabs. You can control which ones are shown by clicking on the controls at the bottom right. You can also control click in a blank space and you get check boxes next to each one of these. Now the first set is Favorites. Favorites is simply a Bookmarks folder. If you go to Bookmarks and then you look down here to your Bookmarks, Favorites should be first and under it you should see everything in Favorites. You can completely customize this and put what you want there. So let's go to a new page for instance and let's say I want to add this to my Favorites. I can go to Bookmarks and Add Bookmark or just Command D and then I want to make sure the location where I'm saving the bookmark to is Favorites. And then I can change its name. I can edit it down to make it something simple like that and click Add. Now when I go to the Start Page I'll see that site there. I can completely customize this by going to Bookmarks, Edit Bookmarks and then look under Favorites here and I'll see everything. I can change the names. I can change the destinations. I can select one and hit the Delete key to delete it and I can move them around as well. So you have complete control over what appears here under Favorites. And here's a tip for using Favorites. If you have a subfolder like News and Popular are subfolders inside of the Bookmarks Favorites folder, you can click on them here and it will dive down into it and then you have a Back button. So you really can put a lot of links right here. You can put all of your bookmarks under Favorites and then have access to them on the Start Page. To create a subfolder go to Edit Bookmarks and inside of Favorites here you can click New Folder and then create something here and then add bookmarks to that or you could drag and drop existing bookmarks into this folder. Now under this you've got Frequently Visited. Favorites and Frequently Visited can be combined to basically recreate what you had with your Start Page. Favorites would be the equivalent to things that are pinned, things you always want to see here at the top. And Frequently Visited will show you little previews of websites that you go to often. Now next down we see Privacy Report. and This is a new feature in Safari 14 and you can click on this and get a report of sites you visited and things like advertising trackers that they're using. Under that you've got Siri Suggestions and this will be like frequently visited except it will pull out URLs from things like emails and messages that you've gotten recently and show you them here so you can quickly access them. Under that you've got Reading List. Of course you can always access Reading List here on the left by clicking on this button and then going to the Reading List sidebar and you can see all of that here. But you could also have Reading List included here in your Start Page and you can click on Show More to expand that or Show Less. And then finally you've got iCloud Tabs. So this is the ability to see which browser tabs you have open in other devices. So maybe your iPhone, your iPad, and other Mac. And you can click here to switch to another device. So this is really handy if you were looking at a web page on one device, switch to another, you can go to the Start Page and look here and quickly jump to that page. Now all this can be customized and you probably do want to customize it because there's a lot of things here and it will be more useful if you only had the things that you wanted. So for instance I may keep Favorites and make sure I have the exact sites that I want to see here on the Start Page in my Favorites folder in Bookmarks. But I may not want to have Frequently Visited or the Privacy Report. Maybe I don't want Siri Suggestions and it's pretty easy to get to Reading List but I do like iCloud Tabs. So having just these two turned on will make it most useful for me. Others may want to have Reading List on and maybe Favorites off and make the Start Page basically a way to get to pages that you have added to your Reading List. Now any way you've customized this you have the ability to add a background. 
So you can turn background image on or off and you can use one of these existing backgrounds here. So for instance I could pick this first one here and it adds it as a nice background. I could also click this button here and then add any image I want. I have a picture here on my desktop. I could select that and you can see that gets added as my background. So it's another place to kind of have a wallpaper of some image that you like. Now I mentioned there are many ways to get to the Start page and of course you can use this menu item here. You can assign a keyboard shortcut to that since it's a menu item. You can also go into Safari Preferences and under General when you open new windows you can have it automatically go to the Start page and also when you open new tabs you can have it go to the Start page. So all I need to do to get to the Start page is if I'm looking at a website and I want to go to the Start page but I don't want to go away from this website I just create a new tab. I'll just use Command T to do that and you can see my Start page fills that blank page there. So I rarely ever have to go to Bookmarks Show Start Page. I just open up a new tab. Now here are a few more tips. You can Control click or two finger click on a trackpad or right click on a mouse to get more options for just about everything in here. So for instance if I control click on anything under Favorites I have the ability to open it in a tab, a window. I can rename or change the location for any bookmark right there. I can copy the address or delete it. For Frequently Visited I can also open in a new tab or window and copy and delete. I can also change Frequently Visited to be Icons if I want it to be that way instead of a preview. Under Reading List I can control click and open in a new tab or window and also remove an item from the reading list. And under iCloud Tabs here I can control click and choose Open a new tab or a new window. So I hope you found this look at using the Start page useful. I know if you've been used to top sites that it's a little bit of an adjustment to make but I think in general the Start page is a more versatile page than top sites. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.